In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, my dear students. Welcome to my class. I hope all of you are doing fine by the grace of God. Today, in this class, we will talk about the subject, Christianity and World Religions, which is chapter 9 of your textbook. And we will cover part one of that today. By the end of this class, you all will get a good clarity on what is religion and how did religions originate. How are religions categorized today? Three, where does Christianity, our religion, find a place in that kind of categorization? In part two of this class, we will see a bit more details on the important world religions in the world and how do they compare in comparison to Christianity. We will also see the attitude and approach of Christianity towards other world religions. In order to understand all these things, we definitely need the power of Holy Spirit amongst us. Therefore, I request all of you, close your eyes and let us invoke the Holy Spirit into our midst now. Come Holy Spirit and dwell in us now. Give us all your gifts, especially the gift of knowledge and wisdom, so that we understand all what we see and hear in this class. Help us to appreciate and assimilate this knowledge and put them to use in our life when needed. Mother Mary, be with us in this effort. This we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may open your eyes now. I paused for a while at the end of the prayer. Did you all notice it? Do you know why did I do that? All of you know that prayer is a conversation between you and God. Conversation means you say so many things and you expect God to listen to you and you expect the other person to say so many things and the other person expect you to listen to him. Only then it becomes a conversation. All of you, please look at the prayers that you have been doing. Do you give enough time for Jesus to talk to you? And do you carefully listen to that? Many a time, it's a no. We say and ask all what we need from him and expect him to listen to that. But we do not ever give time for him to talk to us something and we don't take care to listen to him. Is that correct? We must give time for Jesus to talk to us and we must carefully listen to that. Can you all please do this? Okay, now let us look at the first point of our discussion. What is religion and how did it originate? There's no single definition on religion which is acceptable to all and there is no single time frame or a date to indicate origin of religion in this world. One of the best definition I found after reading lots of materials on the subject is this. Look at the slide. Religion is a socio-cultural system of designated behaviors and practices, morals, beliefs, worldviews, texts, sanctified places, prophecies, ethics, or organizations 
that relates humanity to supernatural, transcendental, and spiritual elements. This is a long and difficult definition. Although, all what we see in the religions today gets covered in this definition, like specific behaviors and practices, morals and ethics, belief system, holy texts and holy places, prophecies, supernatural and spiritual aspects. Now let us look at a simple definition. Oxford Dictionary gives a very simple definition and it goes this way. Look at the slide. Religion is a belief in and or worship of superhuman controlling power, especially a personal god or gods. Now, let us look at how religions originated. After reading the writings of so many scholars who study religion and its origin, I wish to give you this brief explanation to describe how did religions originate in this world in human history. As I said earlier, there is no single date or an year to indicate the beginning of religion. Similarly, there is no single person or a community who can be attributed to have started religion in the world. Religion had a gradual evolution. Thousands of years ago, everything that man saw in the world was a matter of wonder. The sun, the moon, the stars, the lightning, the rains, floods, roaring waves in the seas, tall mountains, the rivers, droughts, floods, earthquake, tsunamis, volcanoes, and all other natural calamities. Those early men had no knowledge or influence on all of them, although these things affected them tremendously. Therefore, after experiencing all of this for many, many years, human beings developed a fear towards these things. These fears slowly transformed itself into reverence and respect and culminated in worship. Over a period of time, these worship started getting step-by-step -step activities, which later became rituals. And these rituals graduated and became early religions. According to one another author, anything unknown and unexplained was being attributed as God by the early human beings. All of these things happened over a period of so many centuries together. However, even today, many religions follow these rituals to worship nature. In this context, let us look at how Judaism looked at things. Judaism specifically say that from the beginning of time and space, which can be called as creation of the universe, God has been revealing himself slowly and steadily to human beings through the ages. We Christians also take that line of thinking, but we add another additional point. That is, we say that in the process of God's revelation, Jesus Christ is the definite and the final revelation because Jesus is fully God and fully human too. Now, let us look at the next point on the categorization of religions. One, today religions can be categorized as, look at the slide, monotheist religions and polytheist religions. Monotheist religions believe that there is only one single all-powerful God. Whereas, polytheist religions believe in multiple gods and goddesses. For example, Christianity or Islam believes in one single God. 
and therefore they are called monotheist religions whereas hinduism believes in multiple gods and goddesses and therefore hinduism is a polytheist religion some scholars categorize religion as organized religions and unorganized religions look at christianity it's a very well organized religion we have codified methods of worship we have strict hierarchy in the church especially in catholic church whereas in hinduism they do not have this kind of organization different castes different regions and different languages follow things differently their worship methods are very very different and they do not have a single head for hinduism as a religion some other scholars categorize religions as abrahamic religions and non abrahamic religions for christianity judaism islam bahai faith and all others they have abraham as a common figure they believe that they descend from abraham whereas hinduism buddhism shintoism taoism and other religions do not have abraham as a figure in the religion all abrahamic religions are monotheist religions certain other scholars categorize religions into middle eastern religions india religions far eastern religions and others judaism christianity islam and others had its origin in the middle east around the mediterranean palestine area hinduism buddhism jainism sikhism and all originated in indian subcontinent our country religions like taoism shintoism confucianism and others originated in the far eastern region like china and japan there are a few tribal religions in africa and australia that gets categorized into others category now let us look at where do where does christianity fall in this categorization christianity is a monotheist religion we believe in one single all powerful god christianity originated in the middle east region around the palestine area christianity has a definite start date the pentecost day which is 50 days from the resurrection of jesus christ christianity is a very well organized religion we have a definite hierarchy we have definite line of control and code of things so you get a clear idea where does christianity fall in this kind of categorizations so children what did you learn today in this class we learned what is religion and how did religions originate what are the different categorization of religions by the scholars and in that categorization where do christianity fall in with this let's find up our class today see you all next time bye till we meet god bless you all